Ladies and gentlemen, the dawn of a new day is arriving, if it not has already arrived. That's why I said, let's head out west. We're witnessing a changing of the guard in the NBA. T Wolves forward Anthony Edwards. Heard about that, brother? Really an off guard. He dropped 40 last night, 31 in the second half. En route to a sweep with Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. A sweep. I'll get to Durant, the Suns, and that big three in a minute, but I want to reflect on the greatness of Anthony Edwards. Teammate and fellow All-Star Carl Anthony Towns even said last night, quote, the future so bright for him, I got to put my sunglasses on, end quote. Not only was Anthony Edwards scoring, Anthony Edwards was willing to guard whoever was the hot hand. If it was Kevin Durant, all right, I got him. If it was Bradley Beal, all right, I got him. If it was Devin Booker, all right, I got him. This is what Anthony Edwards was doing, the Ant-Man himself. Absolutely, positively spectacular. Wants all the smoke. Ain't running from this brother is something special. It's something special. I usually don't agree with Stephen A and his wild takes, but the man was spitting facts right there. Anthony Edwards has indeed become a problem in just his fourth season in the NBA. And even though a lot of people didn't see his crazy potential right away, some players in the league already knew what was about to come. Paul George was one of the guys who recognized that Ant-Man was a different cat the moment he stepped foot onto an NBA court. In his podcast, PG talked about in detail as to why he thinks that Ant is a special athlete, as well as why he's going to be the future of the NBA. Man, I, I'm telling you, I saw that coming. I was That's why I was a big fan of him, because I saw the star potential in him. I saw the star, the superstar on and off the court with, with Anthony, and he's showing it. like. Big shots. That that Germany game was special, cause Germany was getting the best part of us, and he basically put USA on his back from from that second half on to finish that game off. Like he literally just put him put the team on his back, and to be able to do that at that age is tough, bro. Cause the the the, the international game is not easy. It's a different game. It's a different game. It's a it's a totally different game. It seems like Anthony Edwards been in the league for a long time when I watch him. It feels like, like it. He, he plays like, he, like that. He plays like he been in the like league. Like he been there, like he yeah. Know what's going on. And you'll love him. Like, it, like you Great couldn't even, kid. the way he came in, you couldn't, like, you know how they do the rookie stuff, you gotta make him do stuff. It's yeah. like he wasn't having none of that. Yeah. Like, doing his rookie time. Bob, <laughs> please. Really. Like, he has that special, like, it's, it's different. And he's smooth, like. I love him. He knows how <laughs> to, he knows how to use that athleticism the right way. That's what I love about him. He's switching his Because he goes to the lane sometimes, and it's like a finesse. Like, I don't have to punch on you. I'm going to just mm -hmm. go around you with this Euro. And then you forget, like, he can go upstairs with you, too. You that's know? what's scary. That's what's scary. Like, no is he going to, you know, yeah. roll me? So that's, or is that's, he why, gonna... that's why it's such a great package that he can either dunk on you or he can slow one step you and get to his layups. Um, because you don't know, like his athleticism's like, I gotta be ready. Like I gotta jump first so I don't get dunked on. Everything. And then when he sees you jump, he just slides right by you with a little layup. Did you see his dunk that he just had where he didn't even dribble the ball? He was just like yeah. in the high post and turned around two and hand, jumped 10 feet in the air and yeah. dunked on him? It's with like, two hands. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's he's special. That's, that's a special kid, man. He's He's the future. The things that Ant does on the court are really something else. He's that type of player who moves the needle. He glues people to their seats with his insane highlight plays, and this is definitely the type of talent that you would want to spend your hard-earned money on just to see him play. His teammate Carl Anthony Towns has been the big cat, so to speak, in many right before Ant arrived. But when he saw his raw talent and the limitless potential that comes along with it, KAT quickly stepped aside and handed him the keys to the franchise because he knows that he's simply that damn good. I want to know how great can Anthony Edwards become because he is such a beast, man. I mean, I think the, world, the, the sky is the limit. I think what makes him great is that he wants to be great. And I think mm. that what's going to help him a lot. And I think Pete could attest to this. Like, it's always about the vets you have. And I've always said I wanted to be the best vet people I've ever had. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that I give him every single resource aspect, like advice, help in the court, whatever it is to help build him up as a player and to build his narrative and to um, help him become the, the man he needs to be. Mm -hmm. I, I will do whatever it takes. So. Like I told him since day one, I, I said, you, you're very fortunate because you have someone who really does want to see you succeed as much or even more as I succeeded. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so like like I said, I I told him I told him uh, he saw his head down when we played game five and we was in the thing and he was like, you know, woo 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 and all this stuff. And I've been in those situations where you take a lot of the blame. And I was like, nah, like put the blame on me. It's fine. Like that's what I'm here to do as your big bro. Like I'm here to take those moments of pain and and uh, put it on my shoulder so you don't have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know I think he's the future of the league. Like I told him, uh, he's the future. I'm the president. Don't Dang. forget that. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say, but. I think he could really be the face of the league. I think. Yeah, I think he, is. I, I he has the, the same. game. A- Anthony, I think before that series, when people were trying to call you a young star, you said you don't want to hear that until you win in the playoffs. Are you able to give yourself a little bit of more grace now um, in nah, that regard? I mean, nah, not yet, man. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. He a young star. He over here talking like that. <laughs> he the face of the league. I've been saying that. He hate when I say it, but it's true. Like I said, future so bright, I gotta put the sunglasses on most of the time when I'm walking around with him. <laughs> K.A.T. ain't lying there when he said that he gotta put his sunglasses on because the future is too bright for Ant. I mean, just in these playoffs, he single-handedly bought the Suns a one-way ticket straight to Cancun, averaging 31 points on 51, 44, 84 shooting splits. Right after they got swept, Kevin Durant went to the podium and answered some questions. Now, when reporters asked him about Ant and how he did in the series, KD just went full fanboy mode, glazing all over him while giving him his flowers. Kevin, Ant Ant was saying that he's looking forward to playing with you at the Olympics. What have you thought about his growth and the leap and his performance in the series? So impressed with Ant. So impressed with Ant. Um, My favorite player to watch. Just grown so much since he came into the league at 22. Just his love for the game just shines bright, and that's something that's probably that's one of the reasons why I like him the most because he just loves basketball. He's grateful to be in this position. He's taking advantage of every opportunity he's gotten. Um, love everything about Ant, everything, and um, be watching him going forward. And um, you know, you know he's gonna go out there and play extremely hard every single night. But was really impressed with him. Um, and it's going to be somebody I'm following for the rest of his career. To be able to receive such praise like that, coming from a living legend like KD, really speaks volumes about the greatness of Ant-Man. I mean, if you recap that series, Ant was just cooking them game after game, so much so that he ultimately became the foster father of Beal, Book, and KD because he absolutely owned them that badly. There's no question that Anthony Edwards is one of those players that's really been unstoppable in today's NBA, with a plethora of moves in his back pocket paired with his crazy athleticism. Bruce Brown confessed one time that he already had a hard time containing Ant, and in an interview, he talked about at length how difficult it was to guard someone as good as Ant during their series in last year's playoffs. Ant was going OD though. Ant Ant was losing his next No, Ant is a problem. Ant is OD. Oh my gosh. Dude is I would say this year the toughest players to guard was Ant and Shea. We're gonna ask you about Shea later. We're gonna ask you about Shea later. But Jesus Christ, Ant, Ant, Ant was cooking. Cooking. Every doing everything though. All three levels. Saying that Ant is the toughest to guard coming from a player who's not too shabby of a defender himself really says a lot about the hard work that he put in on developing his game. Apart from the skill and talent that he possesses, he's a straight-up killer who's got that dog in him. And this is what his former teammate Austin Rivers talked about in depth when he joined Bill Simmons in his podcast. Um, It seems like he has the uber-competitive side, right? Yes, that's real. He does not like to lose. Yeah, that's in. He's a dog. They get everything. Yes, he wants to win. He thinks he's he thinks he's delusional. He thinks he he thinks he can beat you in everything. He he thinks he can beat me in things he's never even done before. Like, we'll talk about like golf or this this and that, and he'll be like, I'll play, I'll beat you. I'll be like, you ever play? He goes, No. I'm like, No, that's not how golf works, bro. Like, you got to really. He's like, Man, I'll figure it out. He goes, I, I I win everything I do. That's just like generally in his core, he thinks he can beat everybody and everything. That's just how he is, man. Did you ever see fear at any point with him on a basketball court? No. No, he's fearless. He's fearless. To, even to the point where, like, sometimes it's too much. Yeah, you know, like sometimes he like is so competitive, he'll force something. That's where like, that was. His the, growth, that was early Kobe. That was the early Kobe issue. That's, he that's wanted it he, so badly. That's exactly, and that's where he's at right now. Is that's why this USA was great for him to go play and compete with other players. His growth right now, where D, D Wade really took that jump, is when he started dominating on both ends of the floor and learning how to channel his defense to where. You pick up the best player at certain times, but still being a defensive, uh, you know, problem throughout a game. 
And then the fourth yeah. quarter, you guard the best player, like learning how to channel your energy without taking away from your offense, competing on both ends. D-Wade did it. D-Wade led this league in blocks. I don't even know how many years for guards. Like Ant has that ability to go do these things. What's so special about Ant is that he's not just a one-dimensional scorer who's got mad hops. Like, he can also shut down the opposing team's best player if he's locked in. Um, the defense was my next question because that was something that jumped out in the Team USA stuff where I was like, is this guy like an amazing on-ball defender and we had no idea? He no, he's incredible. Like, when he yeah, wants okay. to, he'll, so he just, has it. he'll just channel it sometimes. He'll pick a guy and I, it's usually the best player in the team, like a star. If a star starts cooking, He'll come to the locker, uh, to the huddle, and like coach will be talking. He'll be like, no, 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 I got him. That's done. That's, and he'll like say it out loud. Like just, and no one questions it because we've seen him tap into that. When he wants to cut somebody off, that water's off. What Rivers basically said there is that Ant is a rare breed of hooper who can get the job done on both ends of the floor. He has that ability to take over games offensively while clamping down the best scorer of the other team. Anyway, even though he's never got a chance to play with him, Jalen Rose is always in awe whenever he talks about Ant-Man. And there was one time that he couldn't help himself but to compare him to one of the legends that has walked inside the hardwood. AE, so dynamic athlete, right? He's mm -hmm. like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, he's really powerful. We've seen some of his explosive dunks, like some of the biggest dunks in the league. Yep. With his confidence level, it's going to be a problem for the league. And there have been comparisons, and me and you went to Cutter with him. He reminded me of T-Mac. He's not as tall. T-Mac we're going with. He's not as tall. T-Mac. I mean, but T-Mac is just so tall, man. T-Mac is like almost 6'10", so who's going to be that guy's height? But I'm just telling you, like, the ferocity in which he attacks the rim with the flair for the dramatic. Look at him signing autographs in the middle but of the But also being a bucket. Like, usually the powerful, like... Like, Le like LeBron James can score the ball, but he's not a bucket. You see what I'm saying? No. Like Anthony Edwards made 10 three-pointers in the basketball game, right? So he's trying to trend towards that style of player. And it was incredible to watch him get hot mm -hmm. off the dribble, off the catch, between the legs. Like he was feeling it and it was great to see. Comparing him to Tracy McGrady is definitely one hell of a compliment, but while Prime T-Mac was a more lengthy super scorer, Ant is a bit shorter than him at 6'4", but still as efficient as him in getting his buckets. And although this was an on-point comparison, I think Ant is going to have a higher ceiling than T-Mac, simply because this cat is built different. Now, speaking of making comparisons, Pat Bev once got on JJ Reddick's podcast, and there, he dropped a major bomb by comparing Ant-Man to the GOAT. Pat, I wanted to ask you about some of the some of your current teammates, uh, Ant in particular. He's a you know, he's a human highlight reel, but what do you think just being around him, what makes him special? What have you seen so far? Uh, and what do you sort of think is next for him? Man, I know if I say this, man, I know y'all go to the world, but look at me like I'm crazy and I go put all that pressure on that kid. But man, I told him, man, I told him, man, you got a chance, man. You got a chance, brother, to be Michael Jordan, brother. You really do. You really do. You really do. I've been around a lot of them. Man, the kid doesn't indulge in anything negative, JJ. And you know what I mean, off the court. He, he, he doesn't indulge in anything negative, just all positivity, all video games. He's, I mean, he's, it, it, his talent level and skill level is, 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 is it's, it's crazy, man. He has a chance to be really, really, really special, really special in his league. What made MJ MJ was he had all the physical stuff and had all the skill, plus he was a, he was a psycho. No. You know, and have you seen anything? Obviously, Ant is, I mean, does things on a basketball court at his at his position and and his age that like I'm like, holy. But have you seen something that you're like, oh, he's got that that inner drive that can make him one of the all time greats? The boy could pick up a club and be the best tennis player it is like he was destined for greatness regardless. He's one of those type of people. Anything he touched growing up that he put his energy to will turn to gold. Anything. 
He wanted to play volleyball and be the greatest volleyball player. He could do that. He wanted to play baseball and et cetera and et cetera. He can do that. He's gifted. And you don't see a lot of that in, in a lot of people. So for like, for me to be here amongst him and like to like kind of nurture him through this whole like NBA process, what to do day to day, how to take care of your body. Like, you know, like, it, I mean, it's, it's, everything happens for a reason, everything, you know? So like, yeah. I'm telling you, he's going to be a stud. As a former teammate of Ant, Pat Bev has definitely seen firsthand the insane talent level that he has along with that competitive fire that's been churning out his belly every time he gets unleashed on the court. I mean, as JJ said, what made MJ so great and a legend is that apart from the physical gifts that he has, he's also got that insane obsession with being the best, which pretty much says a lot about his killer instinct and relentless drive as far as winning is concerned. Based on what I'm seeing right now, I have to agree with Pat Bev. He has the hops and moves like MJ. He's got that confident swag in him, and most importantly, he's also a stone cold killer that has no mercy on his opponents whatsoever. Anyway, during his stint with Team USA, another guy who saw all of this about him was Tyrese Halliburton. Though Team USA fell short in bringing home the gold medal, Edwards' experience playing on the global stage has truly catapulted him along with his game to a whole new level. And Halliburton was one of his Team USA teammates that saw this evolution from behind the scenes in practice. Like seeing him every day, the way he works, and um, you know his approach to the game, and the competitor that he is. Like the five-on-five -five runs we had were always like elite, and like his, it felt like his team was always majority of the time when went in and like he was defending like he, he he can do everything uh i think Ann is you know probably the best player in his position uh the future of the league for sure um so just to be there with him and see him uh every day was was very special and no surprise that he's doing what he's doing and it ain't gonna stop for a long time how soon until he's legit undisputed top five player because it's gonna happen at some point yeah, I would say probably like three or three years, maybe two or three years, probably. Like he he can defend too. That's what separates him. Like he is an elite, he elite defender. Like that's the thing with Minnesota. Him and Jaden are elite point of attack defenders, and you got Rudy behind them. Um, yeah, and, and special. I, I, I give it two or three years. Yeah. There you have it, folks. And what do you think about these comments about Anthony Edwards coming from current players and analysts? Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts on this by dropping your comments below. And until then, I shall see you on the next video.